All right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome. I wanted to show you a new game that I've been playing. It's called City Skylines, and it's a simulation of um, pretty much city planning and figuring out how to divide the land and make sure that uh, you get all the services to your sims and it's really it's really fun i've only been playing it for about a week now i think so i decided to show you how i started the game and what kind of mistake mistakes i've been doing and kind of show you the progress uh as you can see here i have four cities I started with the first one it failed second one failed third one failed and then finally on the fourth city it's working well and that's the winning city so I'll show you that the last time. I mean, sorry, the, the last one. But uh, let's start with the first city here. Okay, so we are. This is the first city. The money is bad. I'm losing about a thousand a day. People are leaving, I'm losing population. I, I was higher than 151. I just started to lose uh, people all the time and I, I didn't really know what was going on. Um, and I think the issue that uh, what was happening. So I did have the right plan, which is to put the industry far away from the residents. And I think that was good. Separated by a commercial building, so it's good, but. Uh, for some reason, the residents are really not happy. And if I go ahead and, and, and try to take a look at why, I don't think it really tells you um, the specific reason. Yeah, so it doesn't really tell you what the reason is, but as you can see here, the residential happiness is only 7%. They're really unhappy. And I think the reason, I just couldn't f figure out why they were unhappy, so I just decided to scrap it and, and start over again. But after learning a few things along the way, I think I could try to figure out the reason why now. Let me just look at the water and the electricity, because these are basically the only things that we have at this point in this town. I didn't really unlock anything else. So water availability is fine, sewage treatment is fine. Um, Water is being delivered to all these houses, well, except this one over here, so maybe I could just expand it. Oh, not enough money. Okay, never mind. Um, uh huh. Okay, so this is the problem. This thing has to be lighting up. Whatever this thing is. Let me see. What is this building? This is a water pumping station. It's not operating. The water drain pipe, uh, it releases the wastewater into lakes and rivers and it is operating normally. I'm a little confused though because where is it dumping all the water? It's like just in the... Huh. It's just in the ground. But this thing is not operating. It's obviously not connected to... Uh, the river so I would need to move this and bring it back up close to the water uh, I would need to bring it over here to have it work properly and of course I don't have enough money to relocate so now this is all uh, not gonna work <laughs> too bad but at least we figured out what was the issue here so the location of the pumping station and Basically, people were not getting proper water, they're just getting sewage water. So yeah, first uh, issue um, figured out, I guess. We'll go to the second city and see what happened there. Alright, so this is the second city, and let's see what's going on here. It is getting some money. Uh, the residents are kind of okay they see they seem to be happy over here uh, but there's a lot of demand for 
there's a lot of demand for houses and I guess I don't really know where to put them. The layout is really, really awkward. Um, I tried to build it on the shoreline. Oh, and I think the pumping station is operating normally now, and so is the drain. So there's no issues with that. That's good. Um, I think it's similar. I think I did a similar thing where like the industrial area is far away from the residents. Oh no. Oh no, not really. So the industry is right in the middle of residential. This is pretty bad. I'm pretty sure this is what causes some people to be upset and they're starting to leave. Uh, the, the same thing happened here and these people all are missing electricity. I don't think that there's enough electricity to go around. Okay, so yeah, the electricity is kind of low. I think I was using the, um, win the wind turbines and I don't think that they're generating enough they're very they're a very low source of energy or power um especially putting them close together like that they kind of interfere with each other and they don't work uh, as efficiently also what is it with all these lines like oh my god i have the <laughs> the power lines running through the entire town which is not needed you don't need to do that as long as uh, the houses have power, the power can jump through to the other buildings right next to it. It's only if there is a big distance between the buildings, then you can uh, connect them with this power line. So I really don't need to have any of those. I could technically delete them. And they will still, they'll still get uh, power. And the reason why we would need to delete it is because it actually costs money to keep those operating. And that money does affect, you know, the budget. Um, so I definitely don't need all those. In here, I definitely don't need all those. In here. I do need this one. Because it's uh, helping get the power from the wind turbines to the houses, so I do need it there. And these are also not needed anymore. These are needed because they are not connected otherwise. And I think this is fine too, we can remove it. Okay, but uh, obviously they still need more power. So I probably at this point would need to get the coal uh, power plant. Or maybe I can just get another wind turbine, but there's obviously not enough money to get it right now. Um, overall, I mean, I think that the, this town does have a little bit of potential. Maybe. Um, the one thing that I really hate is the layout. The layout is just really, really bad. So they come off the highway over here. Immediately, there's no power. And... The roads are just really bad. They're, all the roads that I've used are just two lanes, one lane going, one lane coming back. And look at all the space wasted in the middle over here. And if someone wants to like go, let's say, to this house over here, they have to go all the way around. Um, if they want to, oh my goodness, this roundabout here is ridiculous. It has... <laughs> It has a uh, commercial right in the middle of the roundabout. So, uh, definitely a new concept here. But yeah, I think that the layout is really, really uh, bad. So, over here there's a road. And, you know, it kind of leads you all the way across over here to come to this building over here. I mean, like, I feel like there should have been a road to lead to this area a little bit faster. If we were to take a look like that, it's just really awkward planning. <laughs> you can tell I was just trying to fit things in, trying to 
make an interesting layout, but obviously it didn't work. Um, so yeah. It does have some potential. If I do build those some things here, I could try to make it work. But yeah, overall I think the budget, um, we're not really, you know, we're making a little bit of money, but we're not making enough to like be really profitable. And I think our citizens are starting to leave, especially with the industry being right in the middle of the residential area. As you can see here, you know, minus four, minus seven. I know I was really close to the 2000, but they, I just started losing people. So not very um, promising here. Let's check out the third city. Okay, now this city, oh goodness. I mean, it's the most progress that I've had uh, compared to the first one and the second one. You enter the city from here, but as you can see, every single household has issues. They're either sick, they're abandoned, this is abandoned houses, lots of them. Uh, there are so many sick people, citizens are sick, like, they're sick all over. People are dying, and they are staying in their house, and they're just, like, waiting for transport. So there's a lot of dead people here, like, look at that. People are just dead, and I'm pretty sure it's because uh, they got sick and they just couldn't get to a hospital. It's just really bad. Really, really bad. <laughs> I did try to start out with like a nice grid, but it didn't really work out. I had a good um, plan to keep all the industrial commercial area here, keep the residential far away. But clearly, it did not work. Um, I am more advanced in this uh, city. We do have bus lines, and I think the bus lines are causing a lot of issues because they created a lot more traffic. So uh, that was kind of like a, a bad thing. I should not have added that. If I go take a look here at the traffic info, look at this. Like it's all red. It looks like a looks like a Toronto. Uh, traffic is horrible and all the red on this lane going all the way here and that's where you can see a lot of these cars you know the 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 cemetery cars are not able to go and pick up dead people because they're stuck in traffic the ambulance is not you know able to go and pick up people that are sick um, the buses are like pretty much filling up the entire street. So many buses here. And even though I have uh, a lot of hospitals around, it's just because th the city is so sick that these hospitals are just like really not enough. Um, so as you can see here, I have one, two, three medical centers and a hospital over here. And it's still not, not sufficient. I think the one big problem is definitely the traffic. There's not really nice mobility around. And the buses run in the residential area, and I, I don't think that that should be the case. Um, and over here, this area is like a new area that I tried to make that has a nice grid. But people, again, are not able to get here. So we struggle with the same problem. And I think, uh, I think there's also a garbage problem too, if I'm not mistaken. People are also complaining from uh, garbage piling up. Uh, the crime rate is high, of course, uh, because police is not able to get there uh, fast enough. Even even though with all that, it's kind of weird, but we're still getting people coming to the town and the population is increasing but it's just really is not operating well everything is broken in all the households I think one other problem 
but what is it with the waterworks? Showering with bottled water is getting a bit expensive. Oh. So, there seems to be a problem with the water, too. Electricity is available, so there's no issues with the, uh, with the uh, electricity. But let me see, I think the water has an issue. Um, oh yes, this is the town that... Yes, this is the town that I couldn't... Okay. So it had a lot of pollution. Okay, so there you go. This is a big problem. The pollution. So this is where the pumping station is. And it's pumping water that is polluted, and that's why people are probably going, uh, getting sick. And this is where the drain is. I think the drain. I put it uh, here. This is the. This is the drain. Over here. But you know it's draining and it's operating normally, but it's creating all this wastewater that the pump is picking up back and bringing it back to the people. So again, there's an issue with the sewage. I don't really uh, know how to overcome that though, because this is more like a lake, there's no flow. So I don't really know exactly where the water's supposed to go. But something tells me that I needed to have the drain on the opposite side and have the pump here so that... Because it seems like there's a... Oh wait, there are arrows, they're very tiny ones. These tiny arrows are showing the direction of the water flow, so even though there's not a lot of flow, at least there's some. And I needed to just switch the drain and the pumping station. I mean, technically, and I, and I do have a lot of money here, so I think this is a town that could be saved. Um. I could very well save it. What I might need to do is I'll create another entrance from the highway to connect over to this new area that is all that has a nice grid. And I might kind of build things in this area. Because, you know, people are happy despite all these problems. Uh, there's a lot of money, the, the population is still quite high. Um, I think a lot of the issues can be solved if we just resolve the, the problem with the with the traffic and that water issue. We could have we could have a city that is uh, save uh, saveable. <laughs> um, so maybe maybe I'll make that another video and actually save it. Now let's check out the other city that actually works. Alright, so this is the third city, the winning city. Um, as you can see, it has a lot more um, organized layout, more grid. Yes, it's boring, but I found out that this works the best way. Uh, in terms of traffic, the traffic flow, uh, I worked out the, that this street is always a priority road. And it's the main road. And you know, there's no stop signs or lights at it, at this um, street, so things move very freely and quickly. Uh, there's an industrial area over here. Over here, I um, added a farming district, so this industry is also greenhouses and industry because there's a um, uh, there was a, a fertile fertile land in this area. And I added another power plant. There's a lot of services in this town. Uh, for sure, you know, power and, and wa water pumping and land landfill. So it's pretty uh, great in terms of the happiness. Uh, people are generally happy. And uh, the water capacity is, is great. As you can see, I made all the pump and uh, the pipes. Uh, follow the grid line and follow the road, so it makes things a little bit easier for me to follow. Uh, there's three water pumps that are upstream, and there's three uh, drains that are downstream, so put them properly. Uh, the electricity is uh, in good shape too. 
I, we are producing 283 and we're, you know, we're demanding 159. I think there's three um, coal power plants over here. Uh, no, sorry, four coal power plants. And I also have, um, uh, I should also have, oh, there you go, there it is. It's, uh, uh, I have windmills and wind turbines as well, and over here I should have another, I thought I created another power plant, but I guess not. Oh no, it is this one. So yeah, so there's three coal plants and one oil power plant, and plus the wind turbines. So I started with the wind turbines and slowly I added the coal ones, and lastly because the demand was so high, I added the oil plant, the oil uh, power plant. That was pretty good. Um, the garbage is uh, great. I have four landfills, so three over here and one over here to help, you know, get to the places faster. I also have an incineration plant to help uh, burn uh, the garbage and also produce electricity. So that's pretty good. Um, it also supports our electricity production. Um, in terms of our healthcare, our healthcare is full. Oh, okay, that's surprising. Actually, so I'm not too, too surprised. I only have one medical clinic because previously nobody was getting sick and I didn't really need to have another one But because my capacity was at 100 and only like 10 people were getting sick. But I think now I should probably add another um, medical clinic or maybe even a hospital. I think a hospital would be great to increase the capacity um, and I can have it set up at um, so if the medical center is here maybe I should set it at the end of the town to help get to get to the other side of the town so I'll put it over here Plus, we can afford it, right? Like, we, we have the capacity, we have the money, so why not? Um, and as you can see now, our capacity is increased to 600, and we have enough. I mean, we have uh, uh, only 155 six citizens, so it's going to be easier to get to them, for sure. Um, in terms of traffic, I think the traffic is going well. Nothing too extreme, nothing like really bright red. Um, but I am seeing a little bit more movement on this road over here. I wonder why that is. Um, let me see here. Let's see what is going on. I think the traffic... Something is up with this road and I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to try and figure it out. There must be something up with the priority or the stop sign or something like that. Let's see. This is... Oops. So it's not a priority road, but let's see the junctions. Okay, let's look. Why are trucks coming this way? Why are they coming here? Okay, this is something that I need to troubleshoot a little bit and figure out what is going on. Trucks should really not be going around. Um, not sure why that's happening because they are causing a little bit of traffic. Obviously trucks are okay to come here because it's an industrial area, but well, you know, I'll, I'll try to figure that out. Um, as I played, but yeah, I'm just really, really happy with the way that this town is working now. Um, people are just complaining about the the type of, uh, I guess, the type of industry that I chose. So I chose farming over here and on the other side of town. On this side, uh, there was a lot of forest uh, area, so I added forestry as another uh, industry. As you can see here, this is a forest area, 
and it works really good because I mean um, the money keeps coming in people keep uh, coming to the town and I have a high demand for residents so I'm probably gonna go now and try to build more residents and expand the city thank you so much for uh, watching and I hope you enjoyed this video maybe you can start playing city skylines too